Hello, and welcome to Masterpiece Classic American Speeches. Tonight's top story, Mario Savio, sit-in speech at the University of California, Berkeley. Mario Savio's speech, delivered on December 8, 1964, will live in infamy with all those who believe in civil rights, gender equality, and rights for students across the country. With his talent for speaking, his great use of emotion, and his connection to the audience, Mario Savio's sit-in speech is a great one of the 20th century. Now, let's learn a little bit more about the person, Mario Savio. Throughout his time, Mario Savio was a great speaker and a brilliant mind. Until his death in 1996, Mario Savio led many rallies and sit-ins for the Freedom Speech Movement. In 1964, according to the Mario Savio Memorial Fund at the University of California, Berkeley, Savio was granted leadership of the Freedom of Speech Movement. His fervor for speaking caused him great success in his speeches and created moral clarity for all those who listened to him adding to the emotion that was already in his speeches. With his talent for leadership and his flourish for speaking, what makes this speech even greater is Mario Savio's great use of emotion. In the speech itself, his tone is strong and expressive, and his emotions, both inwardly and outwardly, connect him to the audience. In this speech, Mario Savio is quoted to say, Unfortunately, and it tears my heart out. They are as bureaucratized as the administration. His connection to the audience and what is going on at the University of California, Berkeley, creates even more emotions in his speech. His passion for his work and his rights, along with the rights of all those students, were seen through his words and his speech, along with his emotions. With only his great speaking skills, and his use of emotion, Mario Savio's sit-in speech would just be a good one. But the third part to make his speech a great one is his connection to the audience. The connection to the audience and what they have been through makes Savio an even greater speaker and his speech an even better one. In his speech, Mario Savio is stated to say, there comes a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part. And you can't even possibly take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears, and upon the wheels, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. Mario understands what the people at the University of California, Berkeley want, and can give it to them through his words and his plans in his speech. With his great leadership skills, his talent for speaking, his use of emotion, and the connection to the audience, Mario Savio's speech is a great one. Thank you for that report. Again, Mario Savio's sit-in speech, delivered on December 8, 1964, is a great speech that really hit home to all students across the nation. His delivery, emotion, and connection with the audience make for an even better speech and an even better speaker. With the sit-in speech delivered at the University of California Berkeley campus, Mario Savio will live on in the hearts of those students that still believe in the freedom of speech movement and students across the nation. Thank you for joining us for Masterpiece Classic American Speeches and have a good night.